Hi, everybody. In this video, let's try this question. This question is taken from SPM 2021 Paper 1 Section A. And this is from your Form 5 at Math Chapter 5, Property Distribution. Okay, let's try it. A random variable x has a binomial distribution with five trials such that the property, success, uh, property of success in each trial is p and the property of failure in each trial is q. Table 1 shows part of the property distribution of x. Since there are only five trials, so we know that p x equal to 0 plus p x equal to 1 plus p x equal to 2 and so on until p x equal to 5 what is the value we know it will be equal to 1 right p x equal to 1 p x equal to two, uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 the property for all this you add up together you will get 1 right okay so now the question asks us to find uh, the sum of these two so how, how do we get this two don't confuse with these two properties given by the question. Some students might be thinking Px equal to 0 is equal to 81 over 1 to 8 and Px equal to 1 also equal to 81 over 1 to 8. Mm, actually, this is not correct. How do we know that this is not correct? So you try to think. If let's say Px equal to 0 equal to this, Px equal to 1 equal to this, px equal to 4 equal to this, px equal to 5 also equal to this, what will happen? Now you try to press your calculator. So if you assume it this way, it means that we have 2 times of this and 2 times of this, right? Okay, so 2 times 81 over 1 to 8 plus 2 times 1 over 64. Now what happened? Is it more than 1? So we know that it is not possible to be greater than 1, right? So this is not the meaning that uh, this is not what the question is trying to tell you. So the question wants to tell you that Px equal to 0 plus Px equal to 1 is equal to this, okay? It's equal to 81 over 1 to 8. And Px equal to 4 plus p, the property for x, equal to 5. is equal to 1 over 64. Okay, now we know that the total is equal to 1. So if you want to find p, the property for x, equal to 2, plus the property for x, equal to 3, what can we do is, we take 1 minus this 2. Then we will be able to get the sum of this 2. So 1 minus 81 over 1 to 8, minus 1 over 64. Okay, just press your calculator. 1 minus 81 over 1 to 8 minus 1 over 64. Okay, the answer is 45 over 1 to 8. The question asks us to give our answer in fraction form, so don't change it to decimal. Give your answer in fraction form. 45 over 1 to 8. Okay, this answer for part A. Okay, now let's try part B. Okay, for this part, we want to show that P is equal to 3 over 16 Q. Okay, so I think I will start from using this information to help me to show this one. Okay. Given by the question, uh, not given by the question, we found our answer just now. Px equal to 2 plus p, the property of x equal to 3, is equal to 45 over 1 to 8. Okay, so try to think. How do we get uh, this, the property for this and this? We use a formula, right? NCR. So you remember? P x equal to r is equal to n c r time p property of success raised to the power of r time property of failure and minus r always make sure that the sum of these two number must be always equal to the value of n okay so we have five try means that the n is equal to five five c two time p raised to the power of two time q raised to the power of 
3. Always make sure that the sum of these two numbers is equal to the total number of try. Okay, plus 5c3 times p power 3 times q power 2. Okay, it's equal to 45 over 128. So this one you can press your calculator, 5c2, 5c2. Okay, it's equal to 10, p square q q. Okay, this one you can press your calculator, we'll still get the same thing, which is 10. So 10 p q q square is equal to this. 45 of 1 to 8. Okay, so let me divide this whole equation by 10. So here will be p squared over q cubed, uh, not sorry, p squared times q cubed plus p cubed times q squared. Okay, just take your calculator, calculate this one. 45 over 1 to 8 divided by 10. Okay, it's equal to 9 over 2, 5, 6. 9 over 2, 5, 6. Okay, I, I want to show that P is equal to this. So now here, um, let me do some factorization. Let's focus on P first. So you have P squared over here and P cubed. So I'm going to factorize the P squared out. And we have Q cubed here and Q squared. So I'm going to factorize the Q squared out. Okay. So this one have two times q, so that will be uh, we will get p square q cube. So how about here? We want p cube. Therefore, I need a p over here. It's equal to nine over two five six. Okay, let me double check. P square q square times this one, you get p square q cube. Okay, correct. So p square q square times this, you will get p cube q square. Okay, correct. Okay, so we don't know the value of p, we don't know the value of q, but do we know p plus q? Yes, p plus q is always equal to 1, right? This is probability of success, this is probability of failure. So we know that this is actually equal to 1. So p squared times q squared times 1. You, you don't have to write the 1, it's okay. Okay, so p want to be subject. So I am going to move the q squared over here. So p square is equal to q, uh, not q, sorry, 9 over 2, 5, 6 divided by q square. So divided by q square is actually equal to this, right? Time 1 over q square. So in the exam, actually, you don't have to write this step. You can just move the q square directly go to uh, the back of 2, 5, 6, q over 2, 5, 6, q square. So now I'm going to combine these two together p squared is equal to 9 over 2, 5, 6, q squared. But we want p, right? The question asks us to show that p is equal to this one, not p squared. So what I'm going to do is square root both sides. So square root this one, I will get p. Square root this one, square root q, ah, sorry, square root 9, you will get 3. Square root of 2, 5, 6, if you are not sure, just press the calculator. 2, 5, 6, you get 16. So square root of q square, you will get q. Okay, is that correct? p is equal to 3 over 16q. p is equal to 3 over 16q. Okay, showing. Okay, that's all for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.